Catching a rare supermoon will be possible tonight, depending on where you are. We've got Kelsey Young, research space scientist with NASA, joining us this morning to talk more about it. Morning, Kelsey. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Uh, let's just start with uh, tonight. What, what can people see out there tonight when they look up? Today is kind of a double header of lunar fun. We've got a super blood moon. So a super moon occurs because the moon actually doesn't orbit the earth in a perfect circle. It orbits in an elliptical orbit. And so the super moon is the full moon that occurs when the earth and the moon are closest together in the year. Tonight is particularly special because the supermoon coincides with a lunar eclipse, the first since 2019. That occurs when the Earth is between the sun and the moon. So the Earth actually blocks enough of the sun's light that the only light that makes it through shines through the Earth's atmosphere and turns the moon a ghostly copper red color in the night sky. So it's going to be very unique and I'm sure very beautiful out there. Uh, obviously, that depends on cloud cover around here. We're trying to come out of some cloudy, rainy weather. What's the best time to go out and see it? Best way to go out and see it? Yeah, so the, the best time to observe the lunar eclipse, the super moon will be visible all night. And what that means is basically the moon will look a little larger and a little brighter in the night sky. But that ghostly copper red color, the lunar eclipse, will be visible in the wee hours of tomorrow morning. So somewhere around 5 or 6 a.m. is the best time to get up in your area and observe. Perfect for people waking up early or perfect for people working on a morning show. We'll yeah. definitely be able to go out and see it if, if we can go check it out. Uh, of course, uh, talking about the moon comes at a very exciting time uh, for NASA where there's so much work being done on getting back to the moon and kind of exploring in, in new and different ways. Absolutely. We have the Artemis program coming up, which wants to send astronauts to the south pole of the moon. So while we've been there with Apollo, we were near the equator of the moon for those missions. And for Artemis, we'll be sending astronauts to the south pole to explore the science, the impact craters, the volcanoes down there. But also relevantly for our astronauts, we have volatiles like water ice that we're going to be used to establishing a long term presence on the lunar surface. We also have the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, which is orbiting the moon right now, taking pictures and preparing our astronauts to get there. So really exciting time to be at NASA and especially to be a lunar scientist at NASA. And I would imagine for the for the lunar scientists, obviously the, the general public is just waiting for those visuals that we know will come, those iconic moments when, when men and women are back on the moon. But so much work, like you just touched on, important work, logistics and just the planning is being done as we speak. Absolutely. So we have the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, which is providing images that the astronauts will use to select their landing site, as well as to design where the spacewalks are going to go to pick up the rocks, which geologists like me are excited about. Mm -hmm. We're also designing the hardware and the technology, how astronauts will launch off our planet, get to the moon, land on the moon, and be able to conduct those spacewalks safely. So a lot of exciting things going on, both scientifically and to pave the way for NASA's astronauts to once again explore the surface of the moon. Wonderful. If you, if you want to learn more about uh, the work that's being done or even maybe some tips for uh, checking out the moon tonight. Uh, where's a good place to go? Moon.nasa.gov is the place for you. It's got more resources talking about the lunar eclipse and the super moon. And I also encourage you to go on Twitter and check out at NASA moon for easy to understand adjustable facts about the moon to share to your family and friends all day today. Wonderful. So everybody can go to bed really early tonight so they can wake up early and check out that moon right before <laughs> right before things come to an end. Got that right. <laughs> Very good. All right. Kelsey Young with NASA. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right.